There's our man in the Jeep right there. I'm going to ask him some questions here. Yo, what's up? Thanks, man. This handsome young man accepted an order for us with no tip. Let's see how it goes. I think some of you guys are going to be surprised. We're going to place the Uber Eats order. We're going to tip 0, 0, 0. And we're going to see if somebody picks it up and how long they takes for them to shop it. It's a few items at Walgreens. Let's see what happens. Now, my name's Mr. Bet on You. I, if you're new here, if you're a customer, I run the channel, Pedro Dora Santiago. I do gig work. I'm Mr. No Tip, No Trip. I don't believe we should ever do things for free for customers. I'm going to play a miserable customer expecting somebody to shop for me. I type 0, 0.00. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the experience is. Will I tip at the end? Will I not tip at the end? I don't know. I'm going to be a customer that says, I'm going to see what kind of service I get, and then I'll tip. Hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's see how long it'll take for somebody to bring us our food. Oh, that's not them. And this is, is an experiment in human psychology. And also, I wanna ask this person when they drop it off, why did you just do this for me, for free? And how much did Uber Eats pay you? So let's dive into our Uber Eats account. Um, I'm an Uber Pro or Uber One, or anyways, I pay for something for the year and you basically get no delivery fee and you get discounted pricing and I got a promo 40% off from a convenience store. So we're gonna go in here, try to find a couple of items that I do need, place the order and document it. So we settled on Walgreens for two reasons. One, the, it's a convenience store. Two, it's really close. I didn't want the driver to have to drive a whole lot. It is what it is. And also, uh, I know I can get a couple things that I need here at Walgreens, and they're probably going to have them. So let's do a Walgreens run. So the app itself is super easy to order things off of. It's Everything's kind of labeled. They've got different uh, areas and criteria and this and that. It's super, super, super easy. As you can see, I got a promotion applied 50% off. So I'm going to save some money. After I got everything, obviously it goes to the point here where it says your driver is going to get 100% of the tips, tip your shopper. And then this is where it's automatically defaulted to the percentage and the amount that you see here. If I did nothing and hit the button, that's what they would get. As a miserable customer, you have to go in and literally type in 0, 0, 0. That's what I did because I'm playing a miserable fool today. And uh, yeah, I, I don't recommend that, but I did it. So here's a breakdown of the inflated prices I paid, but no tip, and it was 25 and some change. And within 30 seconds, I see, boom, a car icon. It doesn't tell me a name yet, but I see somebody accepted it, and you can see they've got a next stop. So they either already have something, and he's going to drop it off, and then they tell me, you know, it, it, it updates me immediately. Somebody immediately accepted this offer. And then it tells me eventually who it is. It's, handsome young gentleman named david 119 deliveries uh since 2022 97 percent satisfactory it tells me what he's driving in the, the type of vehicle i think he probably does ride share as well and that's that so a guy named david which looks like a model you see that picture i mean dude looks like a model what's 100 and something deliveries since 2022 so not a lot of deliveries i bet this is not going to be him it's going to be somebody else i could be wrong he, the order got accepted very quick, very quick. It got accepted very fast. I live very close to the Walgreens, so not a big deal. What is happening? What is happening in 2024? People are, do, what, how much is this paying this guy? I have no idea. Why did he accept it? I have no idea. What, but what is the acceptance rate of these Uber Eats? Do some people just take everything? What, what, what is happening? What is happening? So even after not tipping, I was able to get it accepted quickly. I wanted to leave him a little message in the Uber and really DoorDash if he could type a little message. I just wanted to let him know, I wanted to thank him. I, I wanted him to keep the order. I wanted to receive my stuff, but I wanted to say thank you for shopping for me. So I did that, typed that in here, and let's, uh, let's see how long this takes. I'm not sure why he accepted it. And at this point, I didn't know how much Uber even showed him that it was going to pay him 
to shop these five items, but I wanted to say thank you. With Uber, you can go in and still add a tip before everything's done. Also within the app, you can see as they shop things and they're completed. Bless this man, David. He's doing shopping for me. There's no way this offer came in more than, I'm very close. There's no way in the amount that he, the, the, the time that elapsed from when I hit send to when I saw the little car icon, like somebody got it. He was on a multiple stop because it said the car, like I showed you earlier, it was like he had some, something else to do. So maybe he was on one, he had to drop somebody's food off, what it looked like. And then where he was dropping the food off, the Walgreens was like up the street. There's no way this is paying him more than three or four dollars to shop for me. There's only four items or five five items, but why take it? What? I mean, this guy's doing Meals on Wheels right now. I mean, what what's happening? Unless he's in some kind of incentive or promo, it could be that with Uber, and maybe this is the last run, and he's gonna make good money. It's like, oh, this is good. A couple items. It's close. Could be that. Is this is why people don't tip because? You don't have to tip in and you still get your stuff timely and somebody's doing your errands for you and you type in 0.00. .00. Is that why we see all these people do this? Because there are people out here actually accepting the orders? All right, so our driver's checking out right now. I have not, I could put in a tip right now, like you can on DoorDash and Uber, you could put a tip in like while they're doing the thing. I haven't done that. My plan is I'm going to come outside and I'm going to ask him a question. I'm going to take care of him, though. But I am going to ask him a question. There's our man in the Jeep right there. All right, I'm going to I'm going to ask him some questions here. Yo, what's up? Thanks, man. Hey, I'm going to throw you 20 in the app. I appreciate it, man. No problem. How much is Uber? How much did it show you? Can I? Yeah. I do this on the side too. I always like to wonder. Five dollars. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna throw you twenty, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, have, a good night. have a good day, brother. Let's talk. Young guy, cool guy, had a nice Jeep. This dude's out here doing Uber Eats runs in a beautiful red Jeep. Beautiful, Be beautiful red Jeep. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Like <laughs> five bucks. I'm gonna throw him twenty dollars because I'm just that's what I'm gonna do. That's an excessive tip, but I don't care. He got everything, he found everything really easy, low mileage for him, I could tell. Five bucks. No tip, five bucks. So it probably came in at five bucks. Where he was at when he accepted it, it probably said five bucks for one point something miles. And he did it. And I ain't mad at him. Five bucks, a lot of y'all would take that, the miles to money matches. It's only five items. We're losing the battle here. No tip, no trip is a thing, but as a customer, this is why we ain't getting tips. Cause you don't have to, you don't have to tip. You just type in 0.00, .00 the suggested tip I think was six bucks. You're still gonna get your stuff and you're gonna save $6. Drop a comment down below what you think about this experiment. We did it last time with DoorDash. I didn't tip anything. I think I wound up putting 10 bucks in or something. That took a lot longer. This was very fast. This was very, very fast. I saved a lot of money because there was a promotion, whatever. So I, I think I saved like 40%. So I'm basically, the money that I saved and the tip I didn't put in, I'm giving to him. He's out here dashing, no, Uber Eats in a beautiful Jeep, except for the $5 order. I can almost tell like when he was walking up, he looked, he was looking at his phone like he was getting ready to mark it complete. I, and I gotta, I gotta know that he knows there's no tip on that. But maybe some drivers don't care. I think a lot of us that do, like that expect a tip or do it, we're the minority. There's a lot of us, we're thousands and thousands and thousands strong, hundreds of thousands strong. But out of the millions of gig workers out here, I think a lot of drivers and gig workers are just kind of taking everything. I believe that. Now, he's been at this since 2022. Only 119 deliveries might do it very part-time. Spending cash, I don't know. 119 deliveries is not a lot. He might do rideshare too. He could do rideshare in that Jeep. 
Shout out to my man that did my shopping for me, something I could have done myself. I'm going to take care of him in the app right now. So when you go back in, the app defaults to a 13% tip, similar tip to what it defaulted in the beginning when I took it away. But after the service and whatever, you can put a tip in. That's what I'm going to do, as you see here. I cannot let this guy do what he did for $5. You guys drop a comment and let me know what you think in the comments below. Customers, tip the people taking care of you. To all the miserable clowns, I know I'm not going to change your mind, but there's always a human being at the other end of your misery. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.